This is one of the electrifying houses in all of college football. You're inside Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor, Michigan. We welcome you on Fast Sports as Randy Walker and his upstart Redskins of Miami from the Mid-American Conference come in to battle the eighth-ranked Michigan Wolverines of head coach Lloyd Carr. Sure, got him on that hook up there for 10 in the first down. Dylan McCullough at the tail. Motion out of Eric Beverly. This is McCullough on the call. Woodson on the pickup of the McCullough fumble to the 34-yard line. So the Wolverines, who continue to show defensive prominence early parts of football games, come up with the Miami turnover. That's why you can win games on defense. They're going to give them field position here on the 34-yard line. That's how you win championships. You don't drive the ball uh, game after game, 80, 90 yards. Look at this. Now, that was just carelessness by the ball carrier, having the ball uh, head high there where somebody can really slap it out. Recovery, motion from Mercury Hayes. Greasy going to go upstairs right away. All kinds of time. Get Hayes underneath. The senior out of Houston, Texas, down to the 29-yard line. So a quick gain of five for Brian Greasy as Lloyd Carr gets him going through the air right now. Mike in this Michigan offense as a replacement for Scott Dreisbach. The Yakuba Tuka going to cut it back left the group. To Munga inside the 25-yard line. Johnny Williams, interesting story on Williams that will develop. Whiteouts in the nation that operate together. Third and two now from the 25 for Greece. The Yakuba Tuka looking to get to the corner. Knife down Johnny Williams over there on the hit as he came up from that free safety spot to make the stick. Line, so it'll be a 44 attempt for Hamilton. He's 5 of 7 on the year. Remy got started in that direction and it is good. So Remy Hamilton bullseyes from 44 yards away. Michigan gets on the board first with 12 18 left in the first quarter. Wolverines take advantage of a Dylan McCullough Miami turnover. Now go away. Just getting started out of the big house on pass. Well, Brian Greasy starts his second offensive thrust of the game from the 35. Off the reverse Hayes. Double that reverse with Tumor. Needs a block. Amani's got the corner and look out. Midfield needed one more block and ran into Tim Biaka Batuka. Wolverines showing double reverse for offensive coordinator Fred Jackson. Fred Jackson. With the money, we might have to give Tamunga the tackle on that. First attempt for the 49. Greasy wants the whole bundle to Hayes. Hit him on that number nine inside the 20 on that deep post cut down to the 16 yard line. That is a 33 yard hookup from Brian Greasy to Mercury Hayes. 220 total yards a game. He saw Morgan and Williams. Second and goal now from the seven. Greasy on the roll right with pressure. Down he goes under a swarm of Miami defenders leading the charge for the Redskins. D. Osborne. Osborne, that outside backer. Hamilton now six of eight on the air after that 44 yard hit a couple of minutes ago. He'll do it out of the hold of Jay Reemersma. This one will come from 39 yards away with the spot at the 29. Remy's got his second of the contest, dead center. 39-yard field goal from Remy Hamilton puts Michigan's Wolverines on top. 6-0, 8.25 left in the first. We'll get you back to Ann Arbor on Passport. Len Steele, Trent Zenkowitz on the Michigan front line. King got six on first down. Wickets off the waggle will roll right. Picked off. Chuck Winters. See you later. 35 yards. Chuck Winters. Touchdown. Michigan Wolverines. out of his free safety spot and Chuck Winters after making the transition from the free to the strong last year George Perlis plays this extraordinarily well leg you got to give a lot of credit there to the defensive line who kept him intact there there look at the interception now strong enough to break away when you got this kind of defense you can kick field goals you can be stopped on the seven yard line you can do a lot of things offensively because you got a great defense and when you have great defense you win football games nothing well, the coaches have a card up in the press box. It tells you exactly when to go for two. This is a no-brainer, but uh, they'll know every time when they should go for two or kick it. Three wides, Toomer, Todd Richards, and Mercury Hayes in motion for Brian Greasy. Off that five-step drop. Greasy clinic to a wide open. 
and Mercury Hayes. Two point conversion successful. Greasy saw just what he wanted. Absolutely nobody home in coverage on Mercury Hayes. Ryan Greasy now looking at third and five from the 37. Again, with time to look it over. Reimers must get it on the number 16. Out there in the midfield stripe for Jay Reimers. So Brian Greasy waiting through that little tight end drag. So, uh, he gives as a football quarterback. Clarence Williams. Look at the cut. And then the bucks through traffic. Still on his feet. 170 pound Clarence Williams bouncing off Miami defenders as he rolled down to the 34 yard line. 15 yards and a Michigan first down. The true freshman out of Sherelle Rowland's program at Cash Tech. Now for Clarence Williams got 15 there. Mercury Hayes is back again. Williams operating behind the big blocks of Thomas Gwines and Rod Payne along that right side as he blew his way on that isolation play for about five John more. Williams there. That's hard stick and free safety. Second and four for the 28. Williams again. Tough sweep. Leveled off. Lowered the shoulder down to about the 22 yard line. Let's go move the sticks for Michigan. Williams needed five. He got six. First down, Wolverines. Michigan out of top 13 nothing and looking for more on second and nine for the 22. Greasy post cut Toomer. Got it. Touchdown a money Toomer in Michigan. been a very very explosive first 14 minutes plus get better than 11 this year Cheney's got to hit another one I tell you this kid has got a tremendously talented left foot a money tumor from his 39 now swing it back the other way who did he get a block from Deanna Anderson tumor wants another block look out 40 inside the 30 to the 28 yard line a money tumor the throng inside the big house in Ann Arbor. And did you see the blocks he got setting that thing up? Ranked defense of the nation. Third and five from the 13. Greasy. Pressure from the backside and down he goes. D. Osborne chased him. He tracked him and he pulled him down. This is a quick, quick, very hard hitting linebacker. The Remy Hamilton's going to come out for his third opportunity in the contest out of the hole to Reimers. But this one from 38 yards and then dead center again. There you go. Four opportunities in the red zone, four scores. That puts him 20 out of 22 opportunities in the red zone that they scored this year. That is a very strong 90%. They're liking the point explosiveness here in Ann Arbor today. Michigan on top of Miami, Ohio by 24 when we get you back on passport football games. Second and nine now from the 18. Ty King on the call. Trying to get to the corner, ran into Charles Woodson. Woodson got some help from Marcus Ray, but you just got to love the way Charles Woodson plays football with the enthusiasm that he brings to this program. From that program here, that'll be Rob Lytle. Third and eight for the 17, Ricketts, who that cut the coverage from Clarence Thompson. The pass is incomplete. It was intended for little Eric Henderson down about the five-yard line. At the gun earlier this year, it'll be from 35 yards away. You see the leg, but it faded out. No good. Sites pulled it wide left from 35. So the Wolverine defense still pitching the shutout here midway through the second quarter. The wise for Brian Greasy, second and nine from the 46 off play action. Comes off his route. Wanted Hayes going to leave his stead underneath. Big tight end will gather it in close to that Michigan first down. And that's what makes them a good defense. They play the run and they pass. Here they come up to the run right there. Clarence Williams pulls away from the tackle of Ernest Perry. First down, Michigan. Times with that great stable of backs to be able to go to. Greasy to put it up on second and 12 for Hayes in the end zone. Made the catch. Touchdown. Mercury Hayes in Michigan. What a terrific adjustment Hayes made with the football in the air for a quick Wolverine six. Okay, watch it again now when we show it. See if Hayes, he's got his hand low there and it pushes off a little bit. I don't know, but it's clever. 
Play pass again. They know those safeties are sneaking up there. He throws and puts a lot of air under the ball. Hayes is down here and gets some separation there. Their defensive back is yelling pass interference or offensive pass interference. I don't think so. Close. Already a bountiful afternoon for Mercury Hayes. Five receptions, 102 yards. The adjustment there. The thing of beauty. The young man that along with his running mate Amani Toomer probably going to play at the next level come 1996. Michigan has exploded on top of Miami. 31 nothing when we come back. Give that defensive credit. They're playing great football. Cheney to boot it away. He has had a lot of work today. Tyrone Butterfield lost the football. Miami's on it. Turnover. Michigan. Butterfield gave it up. Miami's Redskins special teams coming up with their first big break of the afternoon. On the football, Jeff Cheeks, that cornerback for Miami on the fumble from Tyrone Butterfield. Well, that was a mistake, and that's a game of mistakes. We have tons of them in every game. We'll see this again. <clears throat> Watch him. He's got the ball, but he wants to run with it, try to get some yardage. First and 10 now from the 11. Miami can get a first down inside the one. Good surge off that left side. Dillon carried Mike Elston with him. Second and four from the five. There's a toss pass. Banks wants to put it up. He's perfect, and down he goes. Rob Sweat and Jared Irons, those two dominant linebackers that we just showed you a moment ago. That was Tremaine Banks. Wide left. Timing route. Now to go inside to Jay Hall. Had it partially deflected. Doherty. Looked inside on that quick slam. That's about one of the talented toes in college football. 7 of 14 on the year. It'll come from 27 yards away, and it is good. So Chad Sykes gets the goose egg off the board for Miami after a Tyrone Butterfield. Fumble of a punt opportunity. Sykes puts Miami on the board with three. Michigan by 28. When we get you back to the big drive of the football game, does uh, not produce any points. Paul Peristeris fumbled the snap and had it blocked. Blocked into the hands of Michigan's Diallo Anderson, who picked it up and came out to about the 30-yard line. So now two special team breakdowns for the Wolverines. Peristeris just seemed to mishandle the snap for Mark Bullet. As a Miami Redskin at 52. Let's see if he's got the big leg. Got a lot of leg. Got it in that direction. It's good. Chad Seitz has just split the uprights from 54 yards away, career long for the young man that certainly has him standing up and doing just that, yelling for him down in Yeager Stadium in Oxford, Ohio. A 54-yard bomb from Chad Seitz. Two Michigan turnovers have resulted in six points for the Miami Redskins. Second half. There's the numbers on the third-year sophomore out of the state of Florida, Brian Greasy. Yeah, the name's familiar. Son of former Purdue legend Bob. Greasy just had his pass deflected and picked off. Intercepted by Miami's D. Osborne. So Michigan now, after two turnovers on special teams, sees Brian Greasy's pass attempt slapped in the air and that very opportunistic D. Osborne, who has been brilliant defensively for Randy Walker, doing it again. Watch this. At the ball, he got up in the air about five feet, catches the ball himself. Third and goal from the one, McCullough at the tail. On the toss, touchdown, Dylan McCullough in Miami's Redskins. Oh, McCullough got the blocks from the right side of his offensive line. Big Gene Guidry, that 280-pound senior, cleared the path. 13 points, Chad Seitz will do that. So Miami's Redskins certainly with a very, very respectable third quarter showing through the first 10 minutes plus. They pulled it back to within 18 at 31-13. Nope. Right back in the football game. Right. Can you leave his game plan? Come on, Pete. Oh, oh, one into daylight. McCullough is back at three. Midfield. Marcus Wright will finally chase him down at the 43-yard line. So Dylan McCullough make it the 33 yard line. McCullough with a burst of 47 yards. Like this in this afternoon. Third and 11 on the shotgun. Ricketts. They got screen left set up. Ty Key with room. 25. Inside the 20. Still on his feet. Late flag 
inside the 10. Steve King pulled Ty King down, but that one is nine. Inside a minute left in the third. They're looking for more. McCullough at the tail. Dylan McCullough, huge hole. Inside the five. Touchdown, Miami. Dylan McCullough dragging through the tackles of Steve King and Marcus Ray. And Miami's Redskins are on fire as they pull closer to Michigan's Wolverines. Don't look now, people. Miami's in it. Ricketts rolling right in top. Rose blasted from behind. Now, you could pick that up and advance it. Glenn Steele on the uh, major stick on Sammy Ricketts. So the two-point conversion attempt goes awry. But Dylan McCullough in Miami's Redskins right back in this, now down 31-19 late third. Melt away to 31-19. Jason Shane began to boot it away, but before he could, the whistle came. He went down and took a knee at the 42-yard line. So there maybe is the break that Michigan wanted to try to get some momentum back. Watch the mistake of punter Jason Cheney. Low snap, so he goes down to block it. Hits the knee. This is a great group of officials. They're doing an outstanding Michigan, the benefactor of the big pass interference call on Jamie Taylor. Bianca Batuta at the five. Tamunga trying to carry her in his body with them down to the three-yard line. Tamunga says, hey, Johnny Williams, I can play that kind of tough football, too. Elon McCullough, second and goal from the three. Bianca Batuka, the cut. Touchdown. Tamunga, Bianca Batuka, and Michigan's Wolverine. His seventh touchdown on the ground in 1995. Reimersma adds the PAT. Michigan's Wolverines looking for breathing room. They have uh, stretched their lead out to 19. 38-19. Shot to get it in without a timeout on fourth and one. Michigan has come up with a defensive stand on Miami. And the Redskin fans that wanted that final touchdown are denied by a Michigan defense that needed an emotional lift, even though the game is not on the line. I get chills right up and down my back right now because Michigan needed that going into next week's game. Look at them. Look at them. They are all enthused. Here's a... Here's a guy that plays a lot of football. The game's over. They had a one, but that was important to him. That will help him next week. Michigan's lead will stay at 19, and now it'll be Jason jo Carr's job to uh, take a knee as he uh, goes forward on the quarterback sneak and get the Wolverines out of here as uh, Miami can't stop it anymore. So that is going to be the last snap of the afternoon. Michigan's eighth-ranked Wolverines now go to a perfect 5-0 as they have withstood Miami's Redskins. It's over in Ann Arbor. They were tested. Randy Walker and Lloyd Carr talk about it and shake hands as Lloyd Carr now still without a blemish on his head coaching record here at Michigan as he rolls to 5-0 and and will probably at least maintain that uh, eighth rank spot nationally in both the AP and the CNN USA Today poll. Michigan by 19 over Miami of Ohio and oh how the Redskins fought. We'll talk about it when we get you back to Ann Arbor on Passports.